this one, what we're going to do is create a outline of our building. Okay, we're just going to use a plane and extrude around the perimeter of our template. So let's get started. To begin with this, I'm going to press 7 for top view and just zoom in here. So I'm going to press Z and just bring up wireframe shading. I think it's a little bit easier to work in that. So if I press Shift S and cursor to select it, it'll just place the cursor at the center. Now what I want to do is create a ground plane and use that as my wall and extrude around the perimeter of this template. Okay, so I'm going to press Shift A and just add a plane. Now over here on the transformation options, I'm going to change the size to 300 millimeters square. So I'm just going to type in 300 mil in the X and Y and press enter. The other thing I need to do is switch my snapping to vertex. So now if I press G, press and hold control, I can just snap that to this outer corner. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. So with this selected, I'm just going to come over to the outliner. It's going to double click here and I can name this now to ground floor and press enter. Okay, I'm going to tab into edit mode. And if I zoom in here, I can select these two verts. And what I want to do is extrude up. What I might do is actually switch this back now to increment and press E and press Y to restrict it to the Y axis. And if I press and hold control, I can just snap this up here to maybe there. And now if I zoom in, I'm just going to make sure that I have the zoom range at 10 centimeters up here. So if I press G, Y, press and hold control, I can come right up the top and then just come back. The wall thickness, which is three grid divisions. Okay, so I'm going to press E now and Y again and just snap up that remaining tree. So I'm going to select these two verts and just zoom out here again. Press E and X and just snap this over while I press and hold control. Okay, and zoom in here and just press G and X and just snap this over and just maybe back tree and extrude again on the X by tree grid divisions. And I can just repeat this process for this side. So I can press E and Y, press and hold control and snap this down. Just zoom in and press G and Y, press and hold control and just keep that tree grid divisions back. Okay, so I can press E and Y again and just snap this down. And I'm going to select these two verts here, press and hold shift and select these and just press F and that fills in my outline. Just A to deselect. I'm going to tab back to object mode. And what we have here now is our ground plane or our ground floor. And I'm just going to press H to hide that for a second. We also have this object, which was our template. It's called cube. What I might do is rename this to ground floor template and press enter. And I might just move it to layer 19 and just rename this maybe to templates. Okay, it's not too important. Okay, I'm going to press Alt H to bring this back. And with this selected, I'm just going to move it to this layer here, which is currently called ground view. I'm going to rename this to ground floor. Okay, and press enter. And that's more or less it for this one.